Nepal, a Himalayan kingdom where 80% still live off the land in far-flung communities largely cut off from basic amenities like energy. For millennia, firewood has been the primary source. Ushagiri used to spend hours each day collecting firewood to prepare the family meals. If we were using firewood, we'd have to go to the jungle far away to fetch it, but now we don't have to. Dried animal dung has long been used as an alternative to firewood, but it's smoky and inefficient. Now, for over 100,000 Nepalese, dung has a whole new meaning. Like many families in Nepal, the Giri family own livestock, and now they have a way of turning the waste into clean energy. Biogas. It's a mixture of gases, including methane, produced by microorganisms as they digest organic matter in an airless environment. The main benefit is being free from smoke. Because of less smoke, we have less health problems, like, for example, coughing and asthma. The Gimri family installed a plant two weeks ago and are finding a use for the byproduct of the process, organic fertilizer. Those residues that are left can be used in the field. So we don't need chemical fertilizer, so it's good in that way too. Although it will eventually pay for itself, the specialist digester needed to provide the right conditions for the bacteria to thrive cost 350 US dollars, a relatively big investment for a household. Sundar Bajgain and his team at the Biogas Sector Partnership, BSP, are taking this technology to rural people who otherwise couldn't afford it. Through the programme, government subsidies are available to cover some of the cost. Besides subsidy, if farmers doesn't have extra, uh, um, additional money, they can get a uh, loan from the nearest bank or microfinance institutes, which is also arranged uh, by the project. So it is not necessary that uh, if farmers doesn't have money, they cannot have biogas. But as Nepal's biogas expert, he's also more hands-on. So I'm observing basically that whether the construction is properly made or not, whether the measurement is correct or not, whether they place the pipes correctly or not, whether the cement and uh, uh, sand ratio is proper or not, because our concern is to have the biogas plant uh, high quality. The main components of a biogas system are simple and constructed using local materials and labour. A digester pit is constructed underground where the process takes place. Above it, a dome collects the gas. An inlet where manure and water are mixed before entering the digester. On top of the dome, a gas outlet with a pipe to the cooker. Finally, a slurry outlet where the fertiliser is collected for use on the fields. We just put cattle dung and water, mixing with the devices, goes into the digester. It produces the gas which directly goes to the kitchen and we use that gas for cooking. Each system is built with two inlets to allow connection of a toilet, improving sanitation and gas production. If farmers would like to connect the toilet immediately, they can easily connect. If uh, they want to have a toilet connection later on, still the provision is there. The system is great for people, but it's also good for the environment, as it's reducing the pressure on woodland and cutting greenhouse gas emissions. One biogas saves around uh, five tons of uh, carbon dioxide. In future, uh, we will be covering the whole country with uh, biogas so that uh, biogas can be accessible to everyone.